Hi, everybody. Thanks for tuning in and crafting with me today. I'm going to be making a lot of beach theme items, and I hope you guys enjoy everything. So let's jump right in and get started. This one was so much fun and so easy to make. There's no hot glue. There's no prepping. There's no painting or anything like that. You do need a few items, and I'm just going to show you all the items that you need right here. Now, keep in mind, you can change this up. This one is my C theme, and we're going to start with this base. This base, I did get at Target in the $5 section. I just love the wood feel that it has to it. It is made out of ceramic. And then we're going to put some Dollar Tree rocks at the bottom. This does have a little depth to it, so I am going to have to add a few layers. So I'm putting a little bit of a thicker layer rock on top of the bigger rock just to bring some dimension up in it. And now I'm going to add some sand. I do have two colors of sand. I don't know why. I'm just going to mix it up. It's not, you don't really have to have anything, you know, particular. If you want to put colored sand in here, that would be also work too. But I'm going with your basic sea theme colors and your basic sand colors. And once I get that flattened out and all mixed up, I'm going to start adding my candles. Now, I chose the blue candles thinking that it would look like it's the water because that's just kind of my beach theme candle scene. And I chose the blue ones. I really like them, and they also smell good, too. Got these at the 99-cent store. They were $1.29 for five. And I do my shopping at both the Dollar Tree and the 99 cent store. That's what I have available to me in my area. Now, these seashells, I did get at the Dollar Tree. They come in a little box, and they're real small and tiny, but they're great for projects. They don't always have them. So when you see them, pick them up because you will find that you will find that you can use them for different projects throughout the year. So I'm just kind of placing these all around. Now this white piece right here, I'm just going to cut some off. I'm using this to make it look at, to make it look like coral. And I found this in the patriotic Fourth of July section at the Dollar Tree. So it was a fun find. It's white. I might even paint that coral for the next round. I'm just trying to change things up a little bit. So do look for another project later on in my post with this stuff in coral. I really like how this turned out. It was so much fun and so easy to make. And it's something that you can just throw together in a hot minute. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. That one was super easy. For my next one, these jars, when you see them at the Dollar Tree, grab them. They are great to use. They can be used for so many different things. And this time, I'm going to be using the light stakes, the solar light stakes, and wait till you see the effects that it has. I'm just going to decorate up the jar a little bit, and I am using, once again, the seashells from the Dollar Tree. I am putting some inside with a little bit of sand, not much, just a little bit, because I want to be able to have this pattern shine through, and you're going to see when we go ahead and light this up, it's going to put off a very cool pattern. So I made a bunch of these for my yard, and I'm super happy with them. Basically, they do need sun. They are the solar lights. So you need to place them if you're going to be using them inside in a window and then throughout the house at night. I kind of move them around a little bit for, for different effects. So these are super fun and easy to make. I just put my sand in, mix them in with the shells. And I'm going to add some more sand down at the bottom just so I don't have any left over. And then I'm going to put some of this ribbon or it's a raffia at the top. I like how it looks at the top. And then I'm just going to finish off the um, solar light with some twine. And I'm really into custom detail. So then I put the top of the lid. I made sure I added some seashells to it. And I just love the way it turned out. And look at the pattern that it took. It, it takes on when um, it is displayed at night. It's really fun. It's really pretty. And my kids love this one. So up next, this one was super fun to make. I'm going to do a speed up for you because I don't want you to sit and watch me paint it and all that good stuff. But I did use three different colors to paint this. And I just kind of randomly would uh, put um, stripes on as I went along. And then I would kind of blend a little bit. I wanted to have this one 
a true blue sea fame, you could put make this one and put any colors on it that you like. I just happen to like the turquoises and the blue. And you see I'm kind of being a little sloppy here and I'm not doing anything special. I'm just kind of blending here and there. And once I get that all blended in with the different colors and everything, we're going to need to let it dry because then we're, we're, what we're going to do is we're going to put the Dollar Tree glass beads on it. And I'm sure you've seen this one before. It's really a lot of fun to make, but I wanted to do it and share it with you. This one is going in my bathroom and it was a fun project to do. This is something that you can even do with the kids. It's super easy. However, I do warn you, if you are using a hot gun with the kids, make sure that you have safety uh, gloves on. I don't often use them and sometimes I do burn my hands. Okay, now that we have this one painted and it's dried, we're gonna start adding the glass to this beautiful seahorse and wait till you see how gorgeous it is and it turns out. I promise you're gonna be doing this with some of the other ones in all the different colors because I'm looking for another piece to do. I'm probably gonna do it in seashells and I think I'm gonna do use orange, yellows and whites. I like that combination of colors, so stay tuned for that one. But this one turned out really pretty and it was a very fun project and it's so easy to make. Now I did use two and a half bags. I got the mixed bags and then I got one bag that was all turquoise. So when you're making your projects with these, the seahorse, I know for sure, you do need to have three of the glass bags. Some of the other projects, you may need a little less. I just love how this one turned out. It's so beautiful. I love all the colors and it's gonna go great in my sea theme bathroom. This next project, I'm using a round glass jar, some sand and the glass beads that I'm using are from Dollar Tree and they're orange, yellow, white and several different shades of pink and it just reminded me of the sun and it was so easy to make and so much fun. I did put a little sand down there at the bottom just to make it a little beachy with the glass that I put in there and then what I did was I took a light, solar light that you use for outdoors. Everything that I'm using in my projects today are with the solar lights. They're so much fun to use and I'm just going to put this ribbon or this twine around it now, I cut the end off with the tape. Don't do that. That was a mistake. So leave the tape on. I thought I would put some glue on the end, and it just didn't really hold up that well. So the next time I do this project, I will leave the uh, tape on the end, and then I'll just wrap around it. I need it to wrap around this a few times anyhow so that way it would sit nicely on top of the jar so you're just not going to see the tape that you initially put down um, when you're gluing it together so this one make sure to leave that tape on Once I get my rope wrapped around this, I am going to detail it and I'm going to put seashells all the way around the top. Now with the hot glue, these um, lights aren't always going to last for a very long time. They probably will last for one summer. Sometimes they'll last for two summers. But don't worry, if you're just using hot glue, you can remove everything like the seashells because I like to repurpose these and use them again. So don't worry, you can take these off. But I just think it's such a nice touch to have all these detailed decorations on these glass um, arrangements that I'm making. It just makes it so much fun. And I am going to be using mine inside. I have a lot of natural light that comes through my windows and then I like to decorate the inside of my house with these jars. So it just brings a nice touch inside.
and here's what it looks like all finished i think it came out so cute and it's such a simple project that you can bring some sunshine inside with these beautiful colors that i used on the glass beads Now with this project, these are the Shore Living Glasses. These are already decorated. So cute with the twine all the way around them several times. And then they have the seashell, um, the starfish on the front. So these are super quick and easy to make. You just wanna take your jars and you wanna fill them up with a little bit of sand. You don't wanna put too much on there because you want the, uh, you want to make sure that it is uh, lighting up so you don't want to fill it up too much and then once again I did put some seashells in there just because I love the sea theme and I have a lot of seashells and it's great for a visual effect in this jar now I'm not going to show you me wrapping the lights because you guys already know how to do that but I just wrapped it with twine around it and then I just set them on top of the jar and then here's what they look like at night. They're so cute. You can actually see inside and you can see the sand in the shells and I just love the way that these turned out. For this next project, I'm using a Dollar Tree candle and I found some ribbon or twine or jute. It's a natural ribbon and I found it at Timu. And I'm gonna be using some Shore Living Seahorse decorations and a little bit of hot glue. This one is probably one of more of my easiest projects to make. Anybody can do it. You just need a little bit of hot glue and I'm gonna wrap this twine around the top and, a, and the bottom. I think it looks so decorative and so cute. And then you're gonna have a beautiful sea theme candle. When I got these nautical pins from Shore Living Collection, I didn't have any idea what I was gonna use with them, but then I thought, well, you know what? If I don't get them, they're gonna be out. So I'm gonna pick them up. And then as soon as I got home, I realized what I was gonna use them for. And they look so cute on this candle. Let me know what you guys think. I, I felt that it was a fun project. It was super easy to make and anyone can do it. And here's what it looks like all finished. This next project was so easy to make. I'm not even going to go through the steps of showing you. I just used a, gla a little glass from the Dollar Tree. I glued my seashells on. I stuck some sand at the bottom and then I put a little tea light in it. There you go. For this project, I'm using all items from Dollar Tree, and I'm gonna start off with a plastic bowl, and then I have ribbon from the Shore Living Collection. I have some large seashells. I have a Shore Living jar, and I have Shore Living leaves with seashells on them. So I started out by gluing the ribbon to the bottom of the bowl, and then I just kind of wrapped it around. You see how I'm tucking it inside? And then I'm going to place the Shore Living Jar right in the middle. And then I'm gonna start filling it up with some seashells. And then when I get to the outside of it, I have some more shells that I have been collecting for many years. I've always wanted to display them. And sometimes just setting the shells out don't always work or they get too cluttered. So I thought I'd make this little display and I start placing my seashells in the bowl. And then at the end, I'm gonna place 
some more decorations that I got from the Shore Living Collection at Dollar Tree. And I wish I would have gotten more. I was there when they put them out. And I thought, oh, I'll only need two. So ladies, when you guys see things at the Dollar Tree or any other stores and they're putting things out, and if you think you might need more for next time, grab them. These right here, these have the seashells already on them. And they have some little um, grass on them too. And I only bought a couple of them. So that was my biggest mistake is make sure when you see things and you know they're probably not going to be back on the shelves again to stock up on them. They were $1.25 and they make for a wonderful centerpiece. All these items, again, are from the Dollar Tree. I got a glass jar. I got some seashells. And I just put the seashells in the jar so i just put them all in there and then i got a charger there was only one left at the store i was at had there been more i would have got more i got this round orb which i got at one of the dollar trees and then i got some other things all these are dollar tree items and i'm just going to place them for display on this tray there's no gluing there's no mess, there's no painting, and I'm just gonna decorate and I'm gonna finish this project off with a few seashells, and there you go. You have a beautiful handmade decoration centerpiece, or you can put it on a table or your coffee table, and it's really beachy and it looks so cute. And here is another look at it with all the other items that I did make. I do hope you guys enjoy decorating with me. I had so much fun collecting all these items and shopping and making all these beach theme decorations. Now, I have one more item to show you. This one was so much fun. I took a flower pot. Make sure this one's going to be going outside in my garden. So these little holes at the bottom, you do want to punch these out. So I punch these out. So that way, if this is sitting outside in the wintertime and it does rain, it doesn't collect and... Um, get stagnant and uh, have you know moldy water in it so you want to cut those out and then this one's going to be really super simple i'm just going to fill this one up with um some foam so i don't have all uh, so i don't use all rock so i'm going to put a little foam in here so i have something to anchor the lights to and then i'm just going to fill it in with some rocks and then this is what it looks like when it's done i'm just sticking these lanterns in there that are the solar lights and there you go. Now let's take a quick look at everything that I made and let me know which one is your favorite and what you're going to do for your beach theme items this summer. Now, I didn't take video of this seashell mirror, but I had so much fun making it. All you need is something like a mirror or a box and a bunch of shells and a hot glue gun, and you can make anything beautiful with a bunch of seashells. I hope you guys enjoyed my DIYs. Till next time, we'll see you in the next video.